All right, it's August 2nd, 2020. Let's take a look at DriveThruRPG's um, The Deal of the Day. It's only five bucks. It's called Brindlewood Bay. It's 54 pages, and uh, it's a role-playing game about a group of elderly women who frequently find themselves investigating real-life murder mysteries. It's got the supernatural, it's got a cult, and it's inspired by Murder, She Wrote, H.P. Lovecraft, and uh, American TV shows. It's got a couple of... Uh, reference sheets and character sheets and stuff and then it's got five mysteries that come with it I think that's a pretty neat idea to come up with something like that I give them kudos for that cool piece of art there I like that these ladies and then you can see the table of contents and then there they are and how it's laid out and a little bit more information if that's something you'd like to try uh, looks cool I'd play it definitely um, let's continue and we've got uh, echoes from funnel haunt Number seven from beneath the glacier, six bucks. It's forty-four pages. This is a advanced old-school RPG rules fanzine. Looks like it's got uh, four adventures in it, or three crime-fighting vigilante organization, or armed thugs. Uh, yeah, so three adventures and something about the this uh, thugs here at blank dungeon map. So I've seen this before. Um, and the electronic edition is provided free of charge to people who purchase the print issue. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. Um, I've seen this before, this uh, fanzine, but um, never actually looked into it. So uh, that's pretty cool. Of course, I love anything OSR. So from beneath the glacier, adventure model from uh, for levels five to seven. There's the art. Looks good. Could be something to check out. And of course, if any of these interest you and you want to take a look at them yourself, I have all the links down below in the description, uh, and that way you can go take a look at them. Desert Angel Fiasco, a Dungeon Age adventure for 5e and OSR version. So I like that because uh, I'm going to favor towards the OSR version. Um, this is a neat way that they've written this out. So it tells you, you know, like the type of adventure it is, with it being linear, social, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of cool. But here it's got keywords and it says like what, you know, disaster, sabotage, murder. It's kind of spoiling a little bit if you read that part. And of course I just did as well, but oh well, that's how it goes. Let's take a look at it. All right, it's not too bad. I like that, Railroad. It, this is absolutely a linear adventure. I like linear adventures sometimes. Sometimes you, you want a linear adventure. You want a story and you want an ending that is, you know, the way that the story went, you know, is supposed to go. Not always a sandbox, but, you know, imagine if we just had movies and they just occasionally went this place, that place, and it didn't have anything to do with the actual story. I don't believe those movies would fare very well. So I do like stories occasionally, and uh, I don't mind railroady games, you know, ra railroady adventures. Uh, so that's that. And then continuing on with kind of the OSR thing, let's look for here we go, BX Options Class Builder, ten bucks for seventy-eight pages, and it looks like uh, some new ways to make classes in BX style role-playing games. 30 variants of existing classes, 13 new subclasses, optional D6 skill system. Looks pretty good. Um, this art's interesting. Definitely kind of different. Uh, I like it. No preview. That's not very good, especially for 10 bucks. But um, it would be nice to have a, a preview there. And let's see what else they have. Not too much. So maybe they'll uh, add a preview at some point. I'm certain lots of times here in the discussions, people bust about having no preview. And so hopefully they'll put one up because you always need, it's just good. It's, a, it's, I think it's good, uh, good business. I don't know what this is. I can't speak this language. It looks like Polish or something to me, but that cover looks cool. Probably won't link this one, but, um, yeah, I got no clue, but yeah, that looks neat. So you can see some, obviously some stuff from some other languages and it's a great way for people to make their own, uh, you know, products from all across the world. Uh, it's one thing I really like about. Uh, drive to RPG and you know things like this. So again, personalized uh, suggestions. That's pretty cool. We got some more cyberpunk. I guess this is uh, cyberpunk custom maps. Man, that's gonna eat up your printer ink. I got to get that professionally done. Um. So yeah, there's a couple things. Uh, doesn't look like anything much. I don't know if anything's new has shown up. This here looks new. Labyrinth is there, the Innies were the other day, and Merkborg uh, won big, so I'm happy about that. And you can see, once again, there's Vampire. Still doing what it's going to do, and there's Merkborg, of course. 
if you've seen my video on that, you can you know that I'm a I'm a fan of that. So thanks for watching. Uh, the links will be down below for those ones that I kind of spotlighted, and uh, if you want to check them out yourself. Um, and I hope that these videos have been helpful, and I will see you tomorrow.